that was some thrill. It really was. It was absolutely amazing. Because I, you know, I didn't expect it, full stop. They didn't go very quick, did they, early doors? Did you think that helped? Um, not really. He's a door stayer. You know, he stays every inch of, you know, of it, uh, of it, you know, and, and um, he just gave, he just gave him a brilliant ride and he was always going easily and he never missed a hurdle. He jumped brilliantly every, you know, and which did help. And how watchable was it from the last when you saw what was lining up trying to catch you? Uh, I knew he'd stay going and I tell you what, he could hear me shouting in the stands, so it was all right. Travelled well, jumped great. Um, I must say Paddy Kindy and Jesse were, you know, quietly confident of running a, a, a nice race. But as the race progressed, um, I never, they said he might go flat maybe about six furlongs out and he didn't. He travelled through that and um, jumped great. Got there and let him fill up at the back of the second last. And uh, just after the end, they let him quicken away down to the last and he stayed at it. They told me he'd stay, so I was never worried about kicking, you know, a good bit out. So I, I, it was a surprise to me, but, you know, through the race, it wasn't a surprise because he travelled well. Jetson, Jetson has won it as Quivega has lost her grip on the race at Fisher's Cross third and then Glenn's Melody, Fingal Bay, followed home by Sadler's Wrist, Rev the Civil and Ocarabo.